In today's video, we're gonna learn how to tag an organizational chart. Welcome to the Accessibility Guide channel. My name is Sean Jordison, and let's jump right in. With our organizational chart open, let's go ahead and begin by opening up the tags panel. And because this document came directly out of Microsoft Word and I used the shape element, all of these objects are coming through as art or figure tags. And for now, we're just gonna leave them all in there and let's open up our reading order tool. To do that, I'm going to select the all tools button and then select select prepare for accessibility, then select fix reading order. So the method that I'm going to show right now is one method for tagging an organizational chart. We're going to keep it really simple. I'm going to select the top level element president and mark it as a heading level one. Then under our VP of sales, I'm going to tag this as a heading level two VP of production will also be a heading level two and VP of marketing will be a heading level two. We then have our managers underneath that will be a heading level three heading level three we're gonna make every one of these heading level and this will allow a screen reader user to navigate this content uh, much better i can make your documents accessible whether you have pdf documents powerpoint files word documents to find out how i can help you get accessible check out the link in the description uh, let's go ahead and finish off the tagging of this. So there are a whole bunch of figure tags in here and they carry over the path element. I'm just gonna go through my tags panel holding my control key and I'm going to select all of these paths. Now this is coming through this way because of the way that I created the document from Microsoft Word, but I still think it's a useful thing to understand that we are simply going to uh, artifact all of these paths and the arrows. So I have all of that content selected. We're going to right click it, select change tag to artifact, and then select okay. I'm going to collapse the document tag all the way down, reopen it. And now we can fix the rest of our tags panel. We have a bunch of art tags. Um, normally I would spend time like moving all of my contents out so let's finish deleting these figure tags out. And the reason that I like to do that is because I like to have a flat tags panel um, when I am making my documents accessible. And the art tag really is just a extra element um, that isn't adding any significant value to the remediation process. Now there may come a time in the future where they matter, but for now they don't. It also appears that our reading order is off and we have one more object we need to change to an artifact. All right, let's find our H1 tag. Perfect, I'm going to cut it and move it near the top. We have this H2 tag that is going to come after that P tag. Uh, so we have H1, president, and then we have this weird P tag that is out of order that I'm just going to move. This tag came through as an H3, but it needs a P tag. So we've got H2, P tag, H3, H3, the reading order is a little off on this. So I'm just gonna clean it up a little. All right, so we're gonna do H1 at the top, H2 VP sales, name, and then I want to move these top two H3 tags underneath the other tag over here. So uh, now we have president and then we have VP of sales name, manager, manager. That's how it's going to be read. So I'm sort of forcing uh, the read order on this. And we're gonna do the same for the middle column. I'm simply reordering the tag structure. So now we have our H1, we have our H2s across, and then our H3s. And this is all controlled from within the reading order panel. So that's one method that we could tag this content. Now, if you wanna see the second method, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Just kidding, I'm gonna show you anyways. It is using a list element method instead of the heading structure style that we just learned about. All right, so let's say that we didn't want to use the heading style and we instead wanted to use a list structure um, for this content. There's a couple of different ways we could do this, but let's go ahead and build our list a little bit. So to do that, I'm going to right click inside my tags panel and let's create a parent list tag. Now, the very first thing I'm going to do is create another new tag called list item or LI, and we're gonna nest that child LI tag into our parent L tag. Now, every list item has a label and an L body. However, that label isn't always required. So in this example, let's go ahead and create a new tag. 
and it will be a capital L B O D Y for body. And let's find that first tag of president. This is going to be our very first list item. And all it contains is the word president. Now inside this L body tag, we're gonna do something a little funky. We're gonna do a nested list. So I'm going to right click the president uh, container, select new tag, and we're gonna create a brand new L tag, brand new. And inside of it, we're gonna create two, excuse me, three L I tags. And then I'm going to nest all of them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our heading level two elements. And I suppose we could even take uh, the name in this case. So let's do one at a time. We have this H2 at the top. We're gonna take our VP of sales and name, and we're gonna drag it down into our LI tag. Uh, but we also need to throw in an L body so that the structure is correct. I should have done that step first. So we've got list, list item, list body, and then we're gonna move that content inside the L body. And then we're gonna do the same thing for uh, production and marketing. So let's first create our blank L body tag for both of these. I'm sort of building the structure of my list item first, and then I can go find the contents. So in our L body, we want to have VP of production and name. So I'm gonna select using my control key and just drag those elements into our L body at the bottom. And then let's find the other ones, VP of marketing and name. And we're gonna move that into our final list item. So now what we have is a list that contains one list item, which is president. And inside of that, we have a list item a parent list that has three list items, VP of sales, VP of production, and VP of marketing. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to add another parent list item inside the L body tag of this VP sales for our two manager things, uh, things, employees. Uh, so I'm gonna right click inside of the name, select new tag, create a new parent L tag, and we kinda gotta do the same thing. We need two list item tags, and I'm doing that by simply right clicking and creating new tags. Both of these need to be child tags of our list parent tag. And then the only thing that's missing is our L bodies. So we're gonna do a different technique now. We have manager and manager. I'm going to select both of these tags, right click them, select properties, and I'm gonna change them from a heading three to an L body tag. This will simply allow me to drag the tag directly into its LI parent tag, and we now have a proper structure for that list. So right now, we have a parent list tag for these two elements inside of our list element inside of our main list. So we have a three uh, nested list element inside of here. And then we're just gonna do the same thing for these other two. So this first list item contains all of those. The second one, we have to manually create this list structure. This is the one, uh, well not one of, but one of the most annoying things that we have to do for accessibility is manually creating tags. But once you get in the groove of things, um, you can start to move pretty quickly, but it's all about kind of understanding what it is you're even doing. So I'm dragging my L body tags in inside of their L I tags. And now we have to do the final list element. We're gonna do the same thing. It's in the very bottom of my screen. New tag, we need two list items and we need a parent L tag. And then we're gonna move the list items inside of the L tag. And then we are going to change our two H3s up here to L, capital L, capital B, O, D, Y. And then we're gonna move them to the right home inside of the list element. Now we have all these blank tags at the top we can begin to remove and voila. Our document is a single list item that contains multiple nested lists. And each one of these lists contains another list that contains other list items. Uh, so this is the second method for tagging an organizational chart from within Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Lists seem to be one of those items that are very simple, but you can make them very complex. If you found that this was just too much information and you realize you don't wanna deal with this, remember that I can be your personal accessibility expert and I can just do it for you. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time.